guys, I'm Natalia with Mom's Dish and welcome back to our channel. I am so happy to have you here. We are making this Belgian leash waffles and guess what? I have a few mom tricks that will make this process much easier. So let's get started. And here are the ingredients that we'll need for the waffles. We have some sugar, some yeast, a pinch of salt, some vanilla extract, melted butter, and we need milk that needs to be at about 110 degrees. It makes the yeast activated, so it's perfect. Then all-purpose flour and some eggs. As you can see, we don't have the pearl sugar and that's totally fine. That's my mom trick because who has the time to look for pearl sugar? You can use regular sugar and it works just as perfectly fine. For the first step, we'll combine milk, sugar and yeast together. So I'll do about two spoons of sugar in here and then we'll toss all of this yeast in here, stir it together, and I'm using just a cup where I had milk in, and allow this to get activated for about five minutes. While we're giving yeast some time to get activated, we're gonna combine the dry ingredients. So, in your mixing bowl, unless you're gonna be kneading this by hand, you can combine them in your KitchenAid mixer. Add flour, Ooh, a little dusty, friends. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add salt and the remaining sugar into here. We'll combine it together and make a little ball in the center. Now that yeast has been sitting for a little bit, we'll add that in here in the center. Make sure you get everything from the bottom into the bowl. Set this aside and now we'll use a little spatula just kind of to toss everything together. Gonna make another bowl in the center and just keep adding eggs in there. One at a time. I hope you can see me behind this KitchenAid, but this is gonna be really helpful in this step. So I'm gonna attach this bowl in here and we will knead it together with the eggs. And once everything's combined together, we will add the rest of the ingredients. So start on the slow. I kneaded this together just enough to get all the dry ingredients combined together. So now I'm gonna add the vanilla extract into here and all the butter. The butter is the key because that's what makes them really, really yummy and crispy. It is a lot of butter, but butter is good for you, right? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna lift this back up and I'm gonna start it on a lower speed. I don't want this flash into me. So let's start it on a lower speed and then we'll pick up the speed a little bit later. It's flashing. <laughs> so now the dough is all kneaded together. It has an elastic like feel to it, but it is still quite runny, so like, there you go. It should fall off like this off of your kneading hook. And if you notice, I switched it up to a different kneading hook because this one came together and just worked better. So if you have one of these, use this. You don't need to butter your bowl because the dough has so much butter. So no worries about that. And I just will move it just like so. You could keep it in the same bowl that you were using earlier. I just moved it because for the video purposes, but. <laughs> That way you guys can see the consistency. I'm gonna cover it with a towel and I'm gonna put it in a warm place. So I have a proofing option on my oven. That's what I'm gonna put it for about 45 minutes to an hour and let it rise. And that's all. Now that the dough has risen, this is when you can add the pearl sugar if you wish to, and you'll have to allow it to rise again, but I have no time for that. So we'll go ahead with the steps for making waffles and I'll show you at the end how we like to eat them and that makes all the difference. So, my waffle maker has been preheated and I like to use a scoop like this. It's a large ice cream scoop because that measures out pretty even pieces. And I just scoop one in and I'll put it in the center. These waffles don't have to be perfect. There's smoke here. <laughs> they don't have to be perfect. I feel like I need to turn it down just a little bit. They have to have those rough edges. So I'll put that in the center and we'll see how this comes out. Flip it over and we just wait. Taste 
test, taste test. The most exciting part is here, it's the taste test. So here's the ways that you can serve the waffles. We just do a powdered sugar with some raspberries or any other berries, it works perfectly for breakfast. But there's another trick to it. You can serve these waffles with either Nutella, any kind of jam that you can melt for like 30 seconds or even condensed milk. And you just dip in the waffle, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna take a plain waffle and rip a piece apart and we'll try every single one of them, right? Let's do this. And I melted Nutella just also for about 20 seconds. No double dipping. We're gonna try this. So good. I love it. You guys, thank you so much for staying with us today. I hope you love this video and love this recipe. Let us know how you make it, what servings you do on a site. I would love to hear from you. So stay tuned, let us know in comments, and we'll see you next time.